to start a painting, guys, is just fuck it up. Fuck up the painting a little bit. Throw down the paint. Stick it up. And stop being so damn tentative to the damn art process. Stop thinking so much, people. Just fuck it up. Let's go back to our gazpacho. All right? If we can. All right. All right. Okay, put the top on. Put the top on, guys. Sometimes that's good to do that. performances in one evening. It's a really cool art event and of course it will bring people down to Chinatown which I think is super important. This is a lot more than that. The people that run Chinatown had nothing to do with this. This is galleries getting together, started three years ago and it's a great opportunity. A hundred thousand credit card applications in one afternoon. You get a million dollars in credit yeah. I, I don't get to go see that many performances so here we are going to go check out 40 different performances and it's all in this adorable little part of town. The text of the piece is all taken from protest chants from the Arab Spring. So the people want to overthrow, the people want to topple, the people demand the fall, night shall come to light, you know, all this stuff. Another phrase that we're really happy with is Zenga Zenga Dar Dar, which is what Gaddafi first used as a chant saying, you know, I'm going to keep this country together. And then, of course, the rebels took it and used it against them. Like, it means alley by alley, house by house. Zenga Zenga Dar Dar, we're going to kick you out, you know, so it'll be a spectacle, I think. <laughs> I'm just a bunny. Whoa, dude, I didn't even notice the nipples. Perform now! Woo! You get freaks walking around us everywhere, and you're acting like yeah, that. Yeah, they have hair. Right? Yeah, and there's trains blowing through, and you think that this is Man, important, and it's not. Well, I don't want to be all here. All I did was ask for you to watch the balloons, and you didn't do that. No, I did it. I don't like balloons and I don't like you. If you ask me to do something, I'm not gonna, I'm do, gonna it. do it. I'm no. gonna do it. No! I can't. No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! doing a lot of my laundry because there's no way I'm doing laundry without doing my laundry. And then I've got the gallerist and that's husband's laundry and one of the artist's laundry and then my best friend's girlfriend's laundry. I got three more loads to do. There's my washing machine and it is fully functional without any running water so I definitely get to bring some buckets over there. But uh, 
works and the water pumps. And now you're gonna have clean clothes. Ish. <laughs> Ish. I mean, you know, I don't know if drying in Chinatown is really the best way to get clean clothes, but you know, you work with what you got. with the sheath thing who's like the king of the world. He's so fucking great. He is just like naked balls out, chubby fucker. He's just like fucking out there. I love that fucker guy. I know. It's, it's like he's hilarious. amazing. It's like, oh wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. P A I G E, what's your name? Agent David. Okay, oh, this is, you have a very nice smile. Have you ever done this before? Just tonight. No. I'm learning. I'm learning to draw tonight. Really? Yeah, man. And I'm liking it. Good. It's easy. <laughs> if you tip me 250, I'll draw Richard Dreyfus for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's going to cost a little Thank you. I think they're quite lovely, and I'm, from what I can tell, I think all the portraits are almost the same, which is really quite remarkable. <laughs> I am a matchmaker. Oh, fantastic. Can you tell us what some of the questions are? Yeah, um, what kind of person would you like to meet? What kind of relationship you would like to have with this person? What kind of creative work this person would do if they're a creative person? Um, who are you afraid to be matched made with? Oh my god, that's specific. my favorite question. <laughs> the scary, the ultimate scary question. I think that's, I mean, I think a lot of people are afraid of what's going to happen. So, well, this can be for love, or it can be for collaborating, or it can be for an accomplice. called Cure-Alls for Modern Maladies. I have various cures for symptoms that people are feeling. Alienation, for example. Pony goat weed is good for alienation. It also promotes orgasm and sexual stimulation in both men and women. Generational trauma. This is castor oil. It's very good for flushing out the system, anything that's festering in there. Fingertips, latex fingertips. Those aren't good if you have a latex sensitivity. They're all manufactured by myself. The only thing that I want to warn you is do not wear this while driving. No, no, my narcissism's in charge. I'm doing a meditation basically on the theme of doing everything right. And it's called You Did Everything Right. And it's just to remind you that everything is right and everything is perfect that you're already doing. Okay, can we crash your thing? Well, it's not really a thing that you, it's very narrow entrance and exit point. Oh, we so can make not, our way through. Okay. Is that like a Buddhist thing or what's so positive? Why are you being so positive? It just hit me to be positive today. I have a really dark one too. Oh, this is the can fifth we, can one that I've done. One? It was called Drift, and it's about my trouble sleeping. And I have to finish this piece for a show I'm in. Have you ever tried Soma? <laughs> no, but I like Halcyon. <laughs> We're gonna be really good friends. <laughs> so um, I'm asking people just one at a time, just come in and get in bed with me and just talk to oh me. Oh my God, about, can we do that? About their sleep. <gasps> I like yeah, that. let's get in. <clears throat> I had this reoccurring dream when I was little that I was naked and I was flying over my elementary school. Like almost every single night. That's amazing. I meant you were going to be really powerful later. Well, you know what? I did look it up and it did say that. Isn't that weird? How I did you know that? that? No, well, it, it actually meant it's kind of a narcissistic dream. <gasps> Here, you can work on your narcissism. <laughs> oh, it's that. Yeah, like when you're asleep, like you can't do it. Like the bed bugs, like they crawl out. <gasps> 
and they get you. Like, I don't know about the things you're, you're talking about. And you're vulnerable. And like, I'm so afraid of, like, I'd rather, like, get shot in the head in my sleep than have a bed bug fucking bite me. Like, fucking bed bugs really are freaking me out. They're everywhere. Do they you do. snore? That's what I want to know. No, no, seriously. I snore like a chick. Like, I'm like. What's a chick mm-hmm. snore? Like that. Oh my god, I know chicks that snore like blood sauce. I mean, come on. <laughs> Mine's very girly. I'm a girly snore. Girly snore. I'm serious. I've been told that way more than person. Are you good sleeping with other people? Like, you're a cuddler, so yeah, you're I'm totally good. good at sleeping with other people. Are we going to cuddle? Yeah, I'm going to cuddle. You want me to cuddle you? No, no, this is fine. Like you don't like to cuddle. Not so much. Shit out. <laughs> because it's summertime, guys. Summer, summer fruit is here. Take one and see what we mean. Summer fruit, it's very healthy and stuff. Ideally, grow your tomatoes, guys. You know, it's organic. It's really popular right now. Get a little Miracle Grow, but I'm not sure, sure if that's really good. And that one might not be good. Check that out. The Miracle Grows, right? That might be have some Monsanto crap in it or some some awful conglomerate crap. Fuck. That's fucking with you. So try to stay organic. Look all the organic shit. You gotta go eat the fresh fruit when it's in. Because that's that's gonna make you feel good. The fresh stuff. I'm just gonna use a little white right there. And we're gonna get a little yellow ochre, a little yellow ochre. And we're just gonna get a feel. I get a feel of what's going on here of the Emperor. Try to get some definition. Get some of those muscles. Hi, I'm David. I have a joke. How many performance artists does it take to change a light bulb? Answer. I don't know. I left it in her mission. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love that. <laughs> David E. Stone. I'm doing QR code portraits. And in fact, if you had a QR code reader, this shirt would say, David E. Stone wore this shirt first. Are you going to sell it later? I don't know. So I'm here to get a portrait. There's a free portrait, or there's a deluxe edition portrait. So How much is the deluxe? How much do you have? $20. Do I'll get the free one, sorry. Well, you can owe me. The free one is on acid-free paper, but it's like thin kind of copy paper, whereas the deluxe edition is on Stonehenge rag acid-free paper. It has a larger image, and it's signed in pencil. So you'll see Paige Wearies is going to be coming up here in a moment. Does it look like me? It looks a lot like you. I think it looks tremendously like her. Here, let's do a comparison. Look at that's Paige is rather um, blockheadish. And so, uh, where's your phone that can show me what this looks like with your? Uh, does, does anybody have a phone that has Hi, this? Yeah. Yeah. Nice to see you, David E. Stone. piece is called Yours, Mine, and Everyone's. Okay. I've put these canvases down. There's going to be a formal dinner served, but they're, okay. they're asked to respond to what's on the canvases using their food as the medium. I mean, if people want to smash the plates and bloom, I had people take wax and drip it and glue the wine glasses to the table. And it just goes on and on. You'd be surprised at how quickly a table full of adults turns into a table full of children. And just the freedom. Oh, I'd give them less than five minutes. As the artist, I tee it up with what I've already screened onto the canvases. I have some images and some sayings. Fantastic. 
in a microcosm, it also becomes a little bit of a, a cultural touchstone, yeah. you know, because these are current things, okay. or some of them are very current. Uh -huh. Once that's done, these will be dried out and sealed up. How, how long does the canvases. dinner last? Usually three, four hours. Is there more than one course? Um, no, well, they'll just be, you know, lots of Chinese food, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I was hoping you were serving yeah. Italian, and I'm really <laughs> disappointed. Don't forget to sign your name. Yeah, there's 40 performances tonight, sponsored by dozens of different gallery spaces and uh, independent artists, and they really run the gamut. I mean, there wasn't any particular theme. I think if there's one thing that I saw more than anything was this, this intimacy, is that intimacy, even the arm wrestling was really intimate in public, so the, the theme, if there was anything, was this awkwardness of intimacy. And when it was good, when it was good, it was spot on for me. Which one was your favorite? I, maybe being in bed with you and, and that Marcus. Was, that was I kind of got too, off actually. on that, because I hate cuddling, and you all like snuggle bunnies, and ew. Like, it was cute, that was fun. It was a really great turnout tonight, too, which is amazing. I mean, really hundreds and hundreds of people. And there's a famous person. I know, and there's Rhea Perlman, so what are you going to do with that? And Nick <laughs> Nolte was around the corner, so really? there we go. We love L.A. I want to invite you on a ride. A truck ride. Cross this bridge with me. Here we start. Hey, we're here in Chinatown, me and Taste Cook Cleveland. Do you want to film us fucking? 